Good morning everyone. It's very early. Way too early to be making this much noise in the morning, but today is a very, very exciting day. As you know, um, I'm on a quest to do some things in the voice acting world. I want to get more into voice acting. I want to experience more roles of different characters and sort of test myself. I love doing the impressions. Uh, I love sort of putting my voice on a cartoon or animated character. Now! Today is a new one. I'm off to the other side of London to lend my voice to a character in a new film called... Sean the Sheep, the movie Farmageddon. There's a new Sean the Sheep movie on its way uh, and I'm lucky enough to play the role of the pizza boy, as you'll see later on. And this is something that's been a big time goal of mine. Uh, if you didn't know already, I went to animation club as a youngster. Every Saturday my parents would drop me off at the Pound Centre in Corsham and I would learn um, how to animate using um, plasticine models or clay models or whatever. Uh, and I absolutely loved it, fell in love with it. I've always been a massive fan of Aardman in particular, which is the company that make these kind of films. Things like Wallace and Gromit, things like Chicken Run, all the different kinds of shows that use sort of plasticine animation, I've always been a huge fan of. Um, and so to be asked to be part of one of their films is an absolute honour. I can't believe my luck. This year, once again, this year is just unbelievable. The amount of cool stuff that I've done so far this year. The car's on the way to come and get me, can have some quick breakfast uh, and then head off and become the pizza boy. But first things first, do we have any decent breakfast cereals? This will have to do. Curiously cinnamon. <laughs> Amazing. So, so in one? here is, is the actual Sean from the Sean the Sheep movie. Is it the actual one? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my word. Is he actually made of plasticine then or is it of a... Uh... He's got a mixture of different things but actually, this is um, silicon. Oh, uh, okay. And then he's got a hard face. That's amazing. And little beads for eyes. Here's my character right here. This is the... That's the so cool. He's writing cling film <laughs> so he doesn't get too mucky on the journey. Just like me, that's what people do to me <laughs> as well. When I go on long journeys, I'm wrapped in cling film. So yeah, there he is. He's a little bit sort of awkward. He looks a bit spooked. He is. Doesn't he? Yeah, he is. He's a bit scared. He looks just like someone that works for us. A guy called Luke. <laughs> Luke, if you're watching, I'm sorry. But he does remind me a little bit of Luke. Yeah, have a play if you want to. Yeah, wow. So here he is. This is me in plasticine form. How long do they take to make? They take about six weeks. Wow. Is that okay or do we need to do it more, a bit more? Um... I thought that was great. I think if we do yeah. one more of those, just yeah. wild. Yeah, cool. Like... <laughs> Maybe try one more like that and then go bigger. <laughs> that was great. Yeah, that, that was great. great. <laughs> That's good. But maybe a couple of shorter. Yep. Oh. <laughs> oh. So if you don't know how, also how animation works, what would happen is, to create this film, they would move the tiniest bit at a time. So does his fingers move as well? Yes, yeah, yeah. So what you do is, you, is, is it still the sense that you take a picture kind of thing, move, oh, move his finger a little bit like that, the tiniest bit, take another one, move it a tiny bit, take another one, move, take a picture, move, move, like that. Literally tiny, probably even like, a t way tinier than that at a time and you were saying to to do like what, a 10 second scene would take how long a 10 second scene would probably take about two weeks two weeks yeah. to do a 10 <laughs> second segment of this film <laughs> that's that's much that's a lot of time a lot of time here we are look there's a movie poster right first job of the day done now onto the second day second part of the day going for a meeting with unread who are the guys that i did the story about remember just after christmas Go for a little creative session with these guys. That's a lot of steps to get up. Right, we're here. So I'm in the unread offices. The new unread offices, we've moved, and look who it is! There I am. You have no idea how cold I was when that picture was taken. It was very, very cold. It was like, what, January? January. January. January Joe. Got some artwork down here of someone who sent this in from Ming. Thank you very much, Ming. Um, that's done by watercolour, I think, or pastel, no, watercolour. Incredible artwork, well done, very impressed. And here's the old team, look. 
on the London Eye. Still the only time I've been on the London Eye. Diane's very annoyed that I still have not taken on the London Eye, and yet I've taken my pretend girlfriend on the London Eye. I'm sorry, Diane. I will take you on there, I promise. Right, little update on life. I'm back now from the meetings, etc., etc. Today is the press night for Waitress, which means a lot of my friends uh, will be in the audience, including Zoe and Alfie, uh, Mark. A load of our guys from marketing management will be there as well. So it's gonna be quite a big night, as well as a lot of reviewers uh, and press. So it's a big night. It feels it feels a little bit like opening night all over again. And if you watched my live stream last night that I did with, or two nights ago now for you guys, I think, that I did with Diane, if you don't know what that is, I do a live stream, admittedly not as much as I should do, but I'm gonna start getting the rhythm now of doing one a week for members of the Thatcher Joe channel. So if you're not a member yet, you wanna become a member and watch exclusive live streams, do it. I, I'm gonna get in the rhythm now of doing one every sort of Sunday evening, slash maybe like a midweek evening as well, if I've got time um, in the midweek, but if not, a Sunday night, um, I do a live stream, usually before I go to bed, uh, just sort of recapping the week, chatting to a load of you guys, and it's lovely, it's, I really, really enjoy it. So if you wanna become a member, link down below to where you can become a member of the Thatch Joe channel, and you also get like exclusive previews of like vlogs and things like that. You see a lot of things before anyone else does. Anyway, uh, I mentioned that, that my knee was really playing up, and I've got what's called runner's knee. It's a common thing. I did a 10K run quite a few weeks ago now, and my knee is still really painful from it. It's my patella, which is my kneecap bone. It's really kicking off. So, rather than go to a physiotherapist, I looked at YouTube videos on how to fix it, and I've got to do my quad stretches. I don't stretch my quads enough. You're not supposed to stretch them as well before running, only after, when your muscles have got blood in them and they're warming down and all that kind of thing. Anyway, I don't want to boy about that, but I've got to do some leg stretches. It's a big night. I've got to jump around the stage all night, and uh, I want to make sure I'm on peak form. So let's go. I've completely forgotten what, what I'm supposed to do. Like that. I think one's like that. And then I've got to lean back. There. Oh. Oh, yeah. There it is. <sighs> That's the stretch that I know and love. It's tighter than a duck's ass. That quad. Tighter than a duck's ass. There we go. That will stretch it out. So if I do this for an hour before performing tonight, I should be fine. How's your Tuesday going? Oh no, I'm stuck and the door's just gone. Come in! Right, show lights on. Flowers, these ones are still going for it. These ones, not so much, it's starting to sag a little bit. I've filled them up with water, I've been looking after them, but they're just, they're not playing ball. Anyway, Lego update. So this is where we're currently at, check that out. Do you know what? It's looking good. It's got the lava lamp in there, it's got the little table in there, the chairs, the steering wheel, it's all coming along nicely. These doors open like that. These doors even open as well. It's all looking very, very nice. And even the boot opens, check this out. Boom, engine in there. So yeah, coming along nicely. I just knew this day would come. But I'm missing a piece. I can't find it anywhere. <laughs> I've been searching for the last 10 minutes and I can't find it. Um, the only place I think it could be is in Charlie's room, and Charlie's stolen it. He always says he's gonna steal a piece, and I think he actually has gone ahead and stolen one, so can't find it anywhere. So Charlie, I'm coming for you, mate. Oh, right, you join me a bit later on uh, in the show, getting ready for act two in my, my bed linen. It's like a nighty. But I tell you what, that was more nerve-wracking going there and doing Ogie this time round than the first night, purely because um, there's so many of my friends and family in the audience. And it's just crazy how much that can make you then think, and freeze up. But went well, they're all laughing. I'm pretty sure I could hear Tom and Mikey's laugh above everyone else's, which is great. But it means sweating. I had the worst dry mouth ever. And I get really, when I'm nervous, I get such a dry mouth. And then I'm thinking, oh God, is this going to affect my voice when I sing or how I speak? But the, the beauty of this role as well is if you're feeling nervous, you can just pass it off as part of the character because he's, he's in a very nervous situation. So uh, yeah, it's all part of the it's all part of the acting. Let's uh, let's say that. Show has finished. Now it's time to go and see me mates. We've had to evacuate our floor as well because um, something's gone rotten in someone's room. <laughs> Shall we try? Don't need his abuse. Here they all are. <laughs> How was it? Oh, Do you know what you make? You make a good ogie. I know. Cheers, oh, no. real. You make a great. Come yeah. On, here we go, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Well. Right. Oh, oh, you oh, oh, Look at this. Good. Come on, Brilliant. There we go. Dude, that was sick. Joe, that was amazing. Are these real pies? 
No, they're, they're pretend. What happens? What is it? They are fake. Everyone, Anna's, Anna's got the stage fever. Yeah, I know. Congrats, bro. Congrats, bro. Congrats, bro. Congrats, bro. Congrats. Did you win a competition? Huh? Did you win a competition to be here? Anything for Joe's vlog? <laughs> Yeah, I'm I'm a I'm not a daily vlogger. I want a pie. I want a pie, man. Yeah, I know. That's what I want. Anything to say to the fans? Thank you. He's the best, isn't he? He's the absolute best. You smashed it. That roll was like made for you. Cheers, Casper. You got a dirty lens now. Jokes on you. I want to get back into vlogging now. This is fun. Hi. What's your name? How are you doing? I'm good. Good. Okay, this is time to plug some stuff. Go follow me on Instagram at Ollie. Hello. Ollie, what? that's what I'm doing. I'm trying to capture a moment here. Okay, you want to capture a moment? Look at Ollie's bag. Whoa. What is that? Ollie, what is that bag? It's my man bag. I'm like Joe's weird dad. What did you think? That was insane. For like the first time being on stage in musical, that was a bloody big rock. Yeah. Let me tell you, the light's better on him than you, Elfie. <laughs> Luke Meadows, marketing management. <laughs> Check him out. Let me try to sneak in the, in, the, in the back of the shot. I'll get out of the way. What do you think? Oh man, Joe, this timing is just superb. I like Absolutely it. Classic. Yeah. Do you think there needs to be need more animals in the play? There should have been. I was just thinking maybe I should put a python on. Yeah, I would, I, I would. Instead of a child, uh, like a baby, we should bring a python on stage. So. Oh, yeah. What do the girls' bathroom think? We thought it was incredible. Well? Yeah, honorary. Sorry, I was just like, sorry. Yeah, so good. Like, thanks, guys, guys. So good. Really? Yeah, it was really. We're going to clean up right now. We're going to do the girls' bathroom yeah. musical. That is incredible. What would the song be? We have to stay tuned. <laughs> good answer. Really a good way to deflect. So? You look so at home on the stage. Which character would you play in Waitress? Um, probably like my like little kid. <laughs> That'd be her. Oh, she's old. No, you're not that old. You're not that old. Don't worry. You know, it's a bit embarrassing. It was like the money shot. Joe and Zoe were about to pose in front of the big pie sign, and I was getting a picture with Archie, and I was in the background. Now, West End wise, you were asked to play Danny in Greece. <laughs> <laughs> this is another really? like, same thing that Joshua when he came to London. He uh, no, because you know, no, no, actually, I wasn't asked to play it. I was asked to do a video, the touring production. I got asked to do a video <laughs> on it. I reckon you would have done well. I would have, mate. I'd have pulled it off. <laughs> Just yeah. wandering around, just filming your own face. I know, I got some good, uh, good interviews. Actual, how was it? Actual, like, and be um, honest, how was it? I loved it. How many stars? Five. Out of five. <laughs> <laughs> five out of ten. I loved it. I want to watch it again, like, now. Yeah, do it. You can sort it out. Watch the, um, oh, yeah, yeah. Joseph, how does it feel to be with all your friends? <laughs> Is that, it's the best feeling ever, bro. It's fucking amazing. Who? <laughs> 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 Alright, all right, Alfie, wheel me out on that. Get on the bed, get on the bed. Wheel me out in the bed. Bojo sat in that. Get, 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 I think it's coming. I think it's coming. Bojo! Wait, 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 wait. It's a little girl. It's a man. It's a penis looking baby. I'm sorry, Joe. <laughs> oh, you ass, you ah, good <laughs> There's me feeling bad for being late, and he's just gonna try to prank he's us. Like, no, 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 no. <laughs> do not show the footage of the baby. Yeah, I do that. Do. What full footage done. of the baby? What did you do? I didn't. Why are you asking me <laughs> if I did something? We have been stood at this thing for about 40 minutes. Know. Just proceed to payment oh, Don't show the order. <laughs> All right. 20,000 chicken so nuggets. long. Hurry what? up. Who spends 27 pounds 75 at McDonald's? <laughs> Hurry up. <laughs> Mr. Mr. Next jacket, that's it. Thomas has ordered. No, I, I do not. You f***ing selects. Double quarter pounder with bacon. And how many? 20 chicken nuggets. <laughs> and two chips. You we got a bottle of water though, so that's fine. <laughs> you Very framed, healthy. You framed me. That will help slide it all down. Right, boys. I'm uh, I'm pooped. Oh, I'm glad I'm just admiring your wine angle lens. <laughs> Byron, Look at it. Byron, I'm like, I want that phone, Brit. Oh, I'm rocking up at the by rocking up the theatre with this wide angle lens. Right, boys. Good night. Where See you in the morning. Where is I'll show you. We're spooning. You ready for bed? Look. <laughs>
I'm ready for a bit. Don't you dare. <laughs> you are. Oh, just like that. Oh. You're actually a bad person. I hope you rot. Good night. Oh, Tom, you've got a twin. Where? Yeah. <laughs> Who's that 12 year old? <laughs> oh, good night, boys. Uh, See you in the morning. Right, and there we go. The day is over. I'm back in bed. And that is the end of the vlog. Sean the Sheep is out on the 18th of October. I have to go. I'm trying to make it out like this is still last night. And you just come in and ruined it. You are a liar. Diane, it's late at night. Why are you still... What, you, one, I thought you were asleep. Two, because why are you dressed? me and Dev are so dedicated we dance all through <laughs> the night. Right, well, I'm sure the sheep is out on the 18th of October. Make sure you go along, give it a watch. If you want to see me go... Uh, and make various other noises in the vlog. Also, once again, like I mentioned earlier on, if you want to become a member of the channel, there'll be a link down below. Go on there, click become a member, and you get to see some cool little extra sneaky bits of content in some uh, members only live shows, which is going to be great. Oh, and other than that, you know, get your tickets for Joe and, and Di Diane Show. Diane Show. <laughs>